All right, so I've upgraded the cooling system. Did this last night, or this morning actually, before I went to bed. Uh, new upper radiator lines, new three core radiator from a 91 Cherokee. I still need to get the 3 8 hose to go from the top of the radiator cap up and over to the bottle. Uh, bottle actually does fit in there. Um, I was able to move the harness up this direction and it slides right in there. There's a bulge. This is from a 91 Cherokee along with that radiator. Uh, it's an upgraded version, three core. I was thinking I might melt the bottle a little bit so I can deform it. It'll fit around the, the heater motor or the air motor, whatever you want to call it, fan motor. Uh, it's got a new heater core or a new uh, thermostat housing from a 91. Also used a GM style switch. Haven't connected that yet. Uh, I jumped out the heater core for now. Uh, this is not going to work obviously because the hose is pinched here. But what I got to do is run longer hose, make an adapter. I'll probably make a nice little copper adapter for this for right now because uh, the heater core leaks so I still gotta change out the heater core obviously this is pinched so that's not gonna work other than that right now the fan switch is just jumpered just used a wire net I know these are blasphemy in a vehicle but this isn't gonna stay here for long I'll be working on this this week to finish it up uh, the electric fan turns on when this switch is jumpered like this uh, and it provides enough cooling It'll sit here and idle without an issue. I'm sure if I run down the road, this will be enough cooling, but it does need a new fan. Uh, I took off the old fan clutch, doesn't fit with the new radiator. Uh, it might actually, everything bolts up so it might fit, but it's a pain to put it back on. And besides it robs you of power, so I don't want that. Other than that, uh, the swap was pretty, straightforward didn't take any extra work or uh, any extra fabrication uh, it was pretty much a straight swap uh, definitely pleased with it the open system is easier to use for sure uh, before I shut it down I heated her up and ran the I burped it uh, it probably needs to be filled up. Well, looks like it's full. So I think I'll be okay there. Uh, I'm going to end up having to burp it again because, of course, that hose is kinked, so that is not going to work. Um, maybe I can throw a hose clamp on there and that'll take care of it. I don't know, but that is not going to work. So that's where we're at. Uh, I'll give you guys more updates as we go along.